Okay, so a guy at work dropped this off. Well, he brought it to work and asked me to take a look at it. Apparently it was his neighbors or something. And uh, he said, well, it doesn't run. <clears throat> so, can I take a look at it? Sure. So I brought it home. First thing I noticed, let's see, there's a bolt missing here. This is loose. Tells me somebody's been into it. The gas smells bad. He said, well, I need to get a flashlight. He's like, well, he said he put gas in it last fall. That gas is as brown as molasses. Whoops. It's not, it's not as thick, but it's clearly been in there for longer than six months. So that's going to be the first thing that goes. So, yeah, so that's going to go. I checked the oil. It's over... Oops, it's... Man, my camera work sucks. The, um... I checked the oil and the dipsticks. It's overfilled. So I checked it. Smells like gas. So, apparently... He tried to start it too many times without it running. Somehow got gas in it. I don't know. Anyway, the oil's getting changed. That's going to be the first thing. Then I'm going to drain the tank. Take the bowl off that carburetor and see just how bad the carb is. Um, it's not horrible. It's fixable. Uh, he is missing the shroud. There's some plastic shroud that would cover that. So that's missing. And the... Uh, the skis are up too high, so that lip, that lip right there is hitting the ground. So I'm going to film this, and this wouldn't even turn. I just put some silicone spray on it. it made all the difference. Um, anyway, I'm recording this not so much for my viewers, but so that I can show John at work. the amount of work that needs to be done on it. Both tires are flat. That could just be because it's been sitting so long. Although he said he put air in them, but I don't know. I don't think he put enough in, or they've leaked out. So I'll look into that. But yeah, I'll have to check for spark. You know the usual stuff. <sighs> oh my god. Well, it's a good weekend for it. It's hot and humid. I'm not getting out on the bike or doing anything else. So. I'm just going to stay in the garage with the uh, AC going and my coffee and um, yeah, coffee. Uh, do a little work. So, all right, more later. Okay, so after draining uh, the gas tank, I'm betting that's just a little bit more than six months old. Could be wrong. Unbelievable. Well, this is the oil from the snow thrower. It's pretty dirty. Not the dirtiest I've seen, but but it's super thin, which smells like gas too. So, pretty sure there's some gas in there. Uh, so you can see a lot of debris too. Let's see if I can. Yeah, well, there's little chunks of something in here. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway. Eh, onward and upward. We're getting there. Well, I was trying to avoid, was trying to avoid cleaning out the, uh, having to tear apart the carburetor and clean it. But, ew, smells like varnish. Looks like varnish. I gotta imagine the passageways in that car are just horrible. Alright, that'll be the next thing. Well, it's probably a good thing I've taken this apart because. That float is stuck in there. I cannot get it out, and or the uh, needle, the float needle is stuck, and so the float won't come out. So soaking a little carb cleaner, see if that helps. But yeah, it's jammed in there pretty good. So uh, people, people, people. Okay, so I got the carburetor back on. The float was so stuck, I had to take. Uh, these, where are they? <laughs> These, and just the I'm sorry, the uh, 
the full needle I, and I had to work it back and forth back and forth at first I thought it was rubber tip stuck to the uh, to where it seals um, but after looking at it once I got it out I, I realized that it was just gas um, so if you've ever seen the float needle it has like flutes on it and the gas had built up in between the flutes and it was just kind of wedging it in there but because the gas had been solidified I couldn't get it out but I did and I cleaned it uh, soaked it in some carb cleaners uh, for a while and cleared out all the passages with some air I'll finish putting it on tomorrow it's late I want to go to bed and then I uh, put a handle on the pull start because that was busted uh, luckily it was just the end was frayed so I clipped it back about a, two inches and then put that on I think it'll be fine um, this needs to be tighter but I don't feel like monkeying with it and I think it'll be you know it'll be alright um, if it annoys me too much I'll take it back off and readjust it um, so anyway uh, it's just been one of those days where I've been busy 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 running like crazy so I, I, tr I did this in between you know running around so figures too hottest day of the year is the one day I gotta be running everywhere so uh, anyway, day's over. I'm going to bed. Pick this up again tomorrow, I guess. Okay, finally back together. If I did everything right, it should start on one pull, hopefully. And there you go.